This is a focus on EKG acquisition and transmission specifically for the BLS provider. This only applies to EMTs who are trained, equipped, and regionally approved to acquire and transmit EKGs. EKG interpretation should not be done by the BLS provider. 12 lead EKG acquisition is a new skill for BLS providers. We want to do this skill on patients that are presenting with chest pain, dizziness, shortness of breath, weakness, nausea, vomiting, and we're going to acquire a 12 lead EKG and show you how to do that, and then you are to send it to the hospital so the doctor can interpret it. So already on our mannequin here, we have our limb leads. For EMS in the field, we usually put it on the core because it has less interference that way for us. So we have four leads over there. So we're going to put the V leads or the chest leads on now. So Paige is going to show us how to do that. They're labeled V1 through V6. And we're going to start by putting V1 at the fourth intercostal space on the right side of the sternum, the patient's right side. And then we're going to put V2 on the other side of the sternum. And next we're going to place V4 at the fifth intercostal space, but we're going to do it the midclavicular line, so that means the middle of the clavicle. Next we're going to put V3 between V2 and V4. We're going to put V6 at the mid-axillary line, or the imaginary line down the middle of the armpit, in the fifth intercostal space. And then V5 is going to go between V4 and V6. You want to make sure that the chest is dry so that the electrodes stick well. If there's excessive hair, you want to shave that so you can get a good reading. And then you're going to plug in your cables to the rest of your four leads. And then on your monitor, there's several different types available. You're going to push the 12 lead button. It's going to ask you to enter the patient's age. And then you're going to select that. And it also asks the patient's sex. And then you're going to select that, and it will do the 12 lead. There are several different steps to transmit it to the hospital, depending on the type of monitor that you have. It's very important to send your 12 lead EKG to an ED physician so that they may interpret it and order any interventions they may want you to do and also advise you on what destination you should bring your patient to. Proper interventions in the field and efficient transport to an appropriate facility are key in the treatment of STEMI, ST segment elevation myocardial infarction. EKG interpretation is beyond the scope of the BLS provider but in areas that are equipped, educated, and regionally approved, the EMT may acquire the 12 lead and send it electronically to a hospital for interpretation and medical direction. The techniques described in this video are included to spark discussion, not as authoritative practice directives. Consider the benefits and limitations of each technique and discuss with your colleagues and medical director. The content is intended as an educational resource only and not intended to supersede any state, regional, or local guidelines, protocols, policies, medical direction, or any other authority.